I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here, and that's what this is, and that's why... My hair is falling out. It's not, actually, but it sounded good in my head. Anyway, this week, I'm reacting to Wolves of Glendale's brand new video, Just Give Me Cash. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. Yes, I am a comedy musician, and I react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does comedy music. What that means to you is that I'm going to pause the video kind of a lot, actually. Usually so I'm not talking over the jokes that are in the song, but also sometimes to discuss the song's composition, how the jokes work within the song, how the lyrics work with the video, how they work in tandem or not. Uh, sometimes explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes just laughing my damn head off and sitting back. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If this is the kind of thing that you like to see, Please give a like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other fun things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let's dive into this newest one from Wolves of Glendale. I'm a big fan of these guys. Uh, they have a brand new album coming out in January of next year. They're going on tour soon. They're nominated for a Logan Award. Their song, uh, Olivia, is nominated for Outstanding Original Comedy Song at the Logan Awards. Those will be uh, taking place in October at Funk Fest this year. And uh, so it's all a lot of really cool stuff going on with Wolves of Glendale. This is their brand new video, Just Give Me Cash. Let's dive in. Somebody's 31st birthday. <laughs> Just getting ready for the party. And already from the title of the song, I think I know what's going to happen here. <laughs> Calling for a pizza. <laughs> Calls for a pizza, but has pizza bagel bites on the table. Nice touch. <laughs> and various liquids. Can't tell what they are. All right, here comes the band. That was Tom, there's Eric. Ethan will probably be the next shot. Uh, I wrote songs about being 31 when I was 31, and now, now I'm approaching 45. Time is a absolute motherfucker. All right. Uh, this year I'm 31. My friends are coming over tonight. And there's Ethan. And a bunch of people I don't recognize. Some Jenga and drink some rum and eat a hundred bagel bites. I love that the bagel bites are in the lyrics. That's great. It was Chekhov's bagel bite. You don't know what the theory of Chekhov's gun is. It was resolved too soon, number one. But uh, that's what I'm referencing. Um, rum, great. Uh, Jenga. Um, I have been at parties where I've been playing Jenga with people and the party stopped to watch us play because the game was going on for a very long time and I'm realizing now saying that out loud how sad that kind of is but it was cool at the moment and drink some rum and eat a hundred big bites <laughs> <laughs> last year I got <laughs> I I love that this is all expressed through photos instead of like it being like a full moving video at least for this opening part uh you know it's kind of like you know memories of the party and the pictures before people are arriving is the dude just you know oh pretending to drink all the rum himself and has the plate full of stuff and is ordering the things and that's great and yeah, can all relate to terrible gifts. We've all had them. Just 
<laughs> yeah, it's one of the reasons I pause. I don't want to laugh over the jokes. It was just not just the intensity of everybody saying, you know, the chorus of vocals coming forward and saying, "Just give me cash," shouting this line, but also the the anger shown in just the still photographs of the dude yelling at himself. Holy crap, that was funny. Just give me cash. Don't. You're, you're going to mess up the gifts. I got an itchy sweater and a candle that smells like shit. Just give me cash. Hashtag relatable AF. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and then everybody else's reactions to that, like immediate pictures of everybody's reactions, just being shocked or what the F. Yeah, that's great. That's so good. Just give me cash. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting aggressive and crushing up the cookie. Those cookies, like, I know a lot of people don't like those little, uh, little, they're almost like sour, not sourdough, uh, little just soft-baked cookies with the icing on top. Uh, I love them, but then again, I love sugar, obviously, if you can't tell from looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> He's setting fire to the book. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> with cash, he can buy anything. He wasn't even buying a jet ski. Buying a jet ski hull. Like, is that just the shell of the jet ski with no motor in it? Is that... Because that says jet ski hull. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe... And it's on buying it on eBay. You're bidding on it. Uh, well, it does have a buy it now price. You can make an offer. eBay has changed over the years. Old. Uh, yeah. Don't get me books on never read Or a copy of The Matrix on DVD <laughs> Wow, did he really just break that in half and, like... Like, peel the thing off of it? What? That? Okay. Wow. Fuck your stupid toaster in your Harry Potter poster. You know <laughs> this is kind of, this is kind of, speaking of eBay, it's reminding me of Weird Al's, again, not to bring up Weird Al all the time, but he is kind of the bar standard when people think of comedy music in general, because uh, he's been the most prolific name and voice in it in over 40 years. But... Just listing gifts like that reminds me of other list songs that exist, and Weird Al's eBay is just random things that you buy on eBay, and you know, screw your post, you screw your toaster and your Harry Potter poster, making up gifts that rhyme. It's you know, list songs. I've said this before in videos. List songs are a great way to to kind of like punch comedy into things just by having lists of weird objects and disparate objects that don't really belong together. Uh, because, you know, their association just being near each other is funny. Uh, because they're so disparate from each other. I love that kind of thing. I love that kind of thing in writing, and I love that kind of thing that, that showcases, you know, the, the ability to pepper in jokes in a list format. It's an easy way of doing it. It's a fun way of doing it. It's always creative, in my opinion. I love it. <laughs> Over there in the corner, dancing to the music by themselves, uh, everybody else looking, like, not looking at him. So funny. In the toaster shot, looked like it was a laptop smash, too. Like, all right. <laughs> There are large boxes there. I don't think they're large boxes of cash, but if they are, I'll be very surprised. And also, judging from everyone's reaction, I don't think everybody got it right. <laughs> First up is my best friend Kevin. He knows exactly what I like. Kevin. This box is big. I'm getting nervous. I open it and hate what I see. I'm about 
to lose my shit. It's a thousand degrees, Pokemon puzzle. I scream at Kevin. Look at me! <laughs> the music dropping out for the scream. So good. Man, a thousand piece Pokemon puzzle. And again, not just, again, how the song works with the video, not just having these things that you're listing in the song as shit gifts, but actually showing them in the video. Genius. If you can find a thousand, po thousand piece Pokemon puzzle to have in your video, absolutely. That's so funny. All right, just. Uh. Just how dead inside this man looks with this gift. <laughs> Kevin, played by Tom McGovern of the band, uh, just happy with the gift. Look what I gave him. And the birthday boy, birthday man, birthday persons, just dead behind the eyes, staring off into the middle distance. Just, it's an amazing shot. It's an amazing shot. <laughs> to fight everybody at this party <laughs> and again like the the concept of the video is so simplistic in idea but like done so well in execution it's just still photos as if they're somebody somebody who we don't see off camera taking pictures of the event like it could be the the person's mother some you know taking pictures trying to remember the great party but like there are so many pictures because, uh, you know, it, it's a music video, you want to have a lot of variety. But also, just like one picture each of Just Give Me Cash. So good, it works so well. It's, it's such a, an, an idea that, like, it just, it works well. It's all, I was, thought I had something else there to say, and then it went away. So that's fine, moving on. <laughs> Holy crap. That's so funny. Like, forcing friends to leave the... Not only forcing friends to fill your birthday hat with cash. Don't want any of the gifts you bought me. Just give me money. And also forcing somebody to leave the party to go to the bank of the ATM to bring you back some cash. That person is never coming back. If they come back, uh, they like you more than you think they do. Uh, but yeah, no, I wouldn't come back, probably. Number one, I'm always broke. Uh, but also, but also... Open up your phone and Venmo me. There is an actual Venmo code for Alec, as I assume is the birthday boy. Uh, there's a QR code. I, I bet you if you scanned this, you can Venmo Alec some birthday money. I'm, I'm gonna leave that up for a moment, so that... Or just send it to Wolves Glendale. That's a good idea, too. Absolutely genius. Hilarious. Just get a good picture of it for the music video. People will pause it and send you money. Geniuses, these guys. Thinking so far ahead. Holy shit. Don't give me something funny Cause all I want is money It's an everyday necessity Just give me cash He's just distracted. <laughs> I paused it on the most perfect moment. He smashed something into Tom's face, ripped down the banners, and is now choking Ethan with one of the banners. Holy shit. That is so funny. <laughs> and dragging him. Okay, okay. Smashing the gifts and stabbing the balloons. Holy crap. Just kicking everybody out. <laughs> is that Reggie Watts as the landlord? Is that 
Is that Reggie Watts as the landlord? I I could be wrong. It, the beard and the giant hair making me think it's Reggie Watts. I don't know. Uh, if yeah, cool, uh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> we all have bills, we all have things to pay for, student loans, health insurance, car insurance, dental bills. To have him going through all of that in just photographs, and then the breakdown of the song, the song stops and a piano comes in, and there he is playing a piano. Because, you know, it's he's the narrator of the song. It's, you know, by Wolves of Glendale, but then, you know, the whole idea of a music video being from a per different perspective showcasing in, in a visual format. Yeah, I, hey, I'm explaining film theory or whatever shit. Whatever, you know what the fuck I mean. Uh, boy, I'm swearing a lot more in this video than I usually do. Whatever. Um, just the idea of that coming through just strikes me as funny. It's just a funny concept to me. I don't know if you feel the same way. I do. Holy crap, it's funny. In the typical video, everybody comes together with the idea, it's a big party, they're all agreeing, could be a fantasy, but at the same time, honestly, they're not wrong. Uh, you know what, we all like things. Sometimes we just want money ourselves to buy the things we want. Or we need that money for other things. Eh. What was that? Yeah. Just a just a good yeah. All right, <laughs> covered in confetti and cash. Amazing. <coughs> Man, that was so good. That is a great song. That is a great video. Uh, <laughs> Birthday boy was Alec Miluski. Party goers. Uh, landlord was Reggie Watts. I called it. Holy shit, that's great. Uh, <laughs> con congrats to uh, Wolves of Glendale. It's an amazing music video. Uh, uh, everybody in it was phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> man, that was really, really fun. And they have a Patreon, too. Of course, if you want to check out this video without me yammering all over it, link is in the description below. Go show Wolves of Glendale some love. They are fantastic and deserve all of your eyeball time and money dollars, obviously. And, uh, of course, if you want to, please like, share, comment, subscribe for this video. It helps feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these things. If you really want to help me out and the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, get your name in the credits like these folks here, and all sorts of other other cool perks. Other other? Sure. Anyway, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Patreon, it's like giving me cash to do this. Get a 30-hit combo. Achievement unlocked. Learn to play the banjo. Achievement unlocked. Defeated hundreds of guys. Achievement unlocked. But not in real life. Achievement unlocked. Now that helps a little, but not super widely. And to say this year sucks is putting it mildly. And for some folks, events are taking their toll. So for them, maybe let's have some easier goals.